with your old pal Jordan the Lion and Scott Michaels. And we are coming to you from Route 66, uh, particularly Ash Fork, Arizona today. The home of Marshall Trimble. Days with Jordan the Lion, Scott Michaels, and a whole lot of wind begins now. We're starting over here at their Route 66 Museum. Yeah, you can see state historian, humorist, author, professor, singer, and storyteller Marshall Trimble. So we walk in, they have like a shuffleboard game and it looks like the uh, the old courthouse desk over here. Oh, there's the, uh, there's the judge here. Look at that, the name of that place. Hell's Batter Up Cafe. <laughs> Says the Dew Drop In. Got some old historic buildings here. And over here they actually moved the old jail. It was a two cell steel jail over here and you can stick your head through there and take a photo. Or we can go in and look at the jail. Oh, hi honey. <laughs> Guess uh, we know what she ended up in jail for. This place is kind of cool actually. <laughs> here we have the uh, old phone operator. Hotel Escalante, that's a model of, man, that place is huge. Wow. Yeah, I guess when you were a thriving train community, whew. look, this says hanging tree. I didn't expect to see that, the hanging tree. And here's the post office safe. Here's a model of the town <laughs> in the 1950s and 60s. So take a look at what Ash Fork would have looked like during that time. Cool 76 Union Station. The Texaco. I love this, the gambling scene from the Golden Slipper Saloon. Here's a shell from World War II. Look at that. Wow. And then over here they have a section on Marshall Trimble. That's his work right there. All right, let's head on down the road. I want to get to Seligman. We got Burma Shave. Our next uh, stop is going to be in Seligman. And Seligman is like a cool stop because Angel Delgadillo is there. And that's where his ice cream shop is and his gift shop. And a lot of people just consider him like, you know, one of the most important people on the route. Very windy, but a beautiful drive. I have this little turn off up here, so we decided to uh, swing off for a second here and just take a moment. We've been going, we've been enjoying ourselves, but boy, we have done a lot of traveling lately. Cool, another Burma shave. We haven't had anything else to look at. Before the end of our day, we're gonna end up in Kingman. So here's Delgadillo Snowcap. That's one of the main stops we wanted to check out today. They got all kinds of fun stuff here. Look at all the stuff painted on the side. You got 
Wiley Coyote, Santa Claus with a Burma Shave, Delgadillo families put their handprints down here. There's so much to see here. Hey, is he eating a snake? Sure is. Across the street is the Mother Road 66 Hotel, Aztec Motel. I love the red ice cream cone. Here's the to-go food. And you can uh, hang out looking at all this stuff as you're waiting for your food. They have a massive souvenir shop here too, so cars it says. So yeah, you can do your shopping here. This is actually the truck for Dugadillo's. That's cool. That's great. <laughs> you can eat your food out here. Looks like he got burned in a fire or something. Rough. <laughs> Look at the car. How awesome is that? <laughs> I don't even know where to start with that. This is dead chicken. <laughs> oh, look at the seats. And there you can order some food. I kind of want a chili dog. Long line in here to take orders. Look at all this. What's with the uh, severed leg back there? I got a cone. Couldn't help myself. Yeah. Look at this. I love this. <laughs> Toilet in the uh, phone room. Photo op over here at the 66. Poke your head through there. And then what happened to that guy? The ice cream's awesome, but I'm about blown away by the train going by. Tons of t-shirts. Tons and tons of t-shirts. Scott didn't really have any interest in this stop, so he's hanging out in the car, but I got a chili dog. Look how they did the dog. That's kind of interesting. Kind of cut the slivers into it. Huh. Yeah, he's having a great time. It's just super windy, and he said, if I go in one more gift shop right now, I'm going to lose my mind. So he said he wanted to hang out in the car because of all the wind pretty good then as we go next door this is all route 66 stuff of course I love the color of this place the blue and everything we'll go in and take a look and see what's for sale give you an idea this is such a cool little town Maryland. What's up with the big chicken back here? And then this is Angel. Since I mentioned Angel Delgadillo, the next business next door is Angel and Vilma's, and that's Angel. And see here, they call this the birthplace of Historic Route 66. That is the Texaco sign up there banging. Not Betty Boop over here banging. Isn't that cool? They have all the cool little stops that you're supposed to hit, like Cozy Dog and Cars Locations and stuff. Katusa, Big Texan, we went there. Jack Rabbit Trading Post. Yep, all that stuff. Now we're here. Yep, don't forget the Burma Shave. We'll go in this one first. Road relics, see what's in there. 
then we'll go in WDOs. Okay, I'm seeing signs, metalwork. Wow, gas cans. Huh. Huh. But I found the back room. Oh wow, cool cash register. Know this. <laughs> like off a boat. Back in this room, familiar face. <laughs> Saw the neon. This is all like stuff made out of car parts. Not Elvis though. It's like a real road sign. Later, Mr. Indian. All right, back over to Angel Shop. Plus, uh, at Angel Shop, they proudly only sell things made in the USA. Like Marilyn. And here's a bunch of his history right here. What's going in? The music for Route 66. Wow, look at all the police patches. Must collect them. There's Angel's Barbershop in here. Is that you seeing something I didn't see? Yep, here is Angel's Barbershop. My job is keeping faces clean and nobody knows the stubble I've seen. Yeah, he was uh he was a barber here. That's great. He used to make these birdhouses. There's his barber's chair with a young angel right here. There we are, right here. Yeah, they're talking about all the celebrities that used to come through here. It says, uh, <laughs> Billy Conley used to come here. It says, Martin Milner from the TV show Route 66, Tommy Lee from Motley Crue, David Soul, Hutch from Starsky and Hutch, John Stewart from the Kingston Trio, Bobby Troop, Get Your Kicks on Route 66 Songwriter, and John Laster from Pixar, and oh, Jerry Seinfeld, huh? You just, you gotta buy something here, even if it's just a postcard or a magnet or something, just all part of supporting the trail. Somebody first came in, the barber shop was right through there, right underneath all the 66 stuff. And what a great welcome center right here. Beautiful. So this side was the gift shop and there was his barber shop. Cool motel sign. Look at this place. This is all Seligman still. You can stick your face in the middle of an Elvis hound dog record. Or right here. Scott was just telling me, hey, I wish I could take a photo with my face in an Elvis hound dog record. And there it is. <laughs> Looks like the kind of people you hang out with, Scott. Look at this guy. Show you that. <laughs> well, the peace signs, the only a head, no body. Toilet on top Toi of a car. Yeah, toilet on top of a car. Pass in the corner. Look at this. Wow. Woo. Man, they have a lot of stuff. It says open, but it's not open. So we'll just look at all their cool stuff up here. Looks, pe looks like people sign all the doorway. Hippie Cricket. I guess that's what they call this place. There's a lot more to see. Look at this entire block. If you're looking for Instagram photo opportunities, this corner is your heaven. You got, I mean, you got a freaking airplane coming out of the side of a building. I mean, come on now. Look at that. 1931 Studebaker. I love this stop, look at that. The ironwork cowboy up here on the front porch is just amazing. And don't forget the crashed plane. Oh. 
Draw, partner. The old soda fountain counter. That is so cool. Kinds of old drugstore products over here. Cigarette machine. Now that's interesting. He has a Pat Tillman jersey up there and it looks like on the numbers it's been signed at some point. Huh. It's all, I mean the signature and everything is all faded but I can still see something on there. And I'm just a huge fan of that. Jeez, you got the old machines too, everything. Now we're gonna <laughs> look around some more. Because there's a ton to see. Look at this car. Route 66. Then I actually was here, I want to say, two years ago and met Angel. He happened to be over here for some reason. And everybody was like, people that knew who he was were clamoring over to say hi to him and get photos with him. So I went over and said hello to him. But yeah, he was just like a... I know everybody knew who he was, but he just acted like a normal guy. Just a normal guy living in his town. Look at this place. <laughs> I have to go check out that alien. Oh yeah, a lot more stickers than last time. Whew. I bet Scott puts a death hag one on there. There's the Route 66 Frog Band and a really cool Seligman mural over here on the side of the store. You can see Kermit the Frogs in there riding a green motorcycle. And here we got our alien buddy with Rat Fink. This place spells trouble. Hey, Elvis. Just as I rode Route 66. Looks like there's something back here. I've never been in here, so I did not know they had this little motorcycle and car museum in here. Huh. Crosley Station Wagon. Huh. Whoa. Nice. Lots of motorcycles. No Zoltars or anything? Seligman is by far one of the coolest stops in Arizona and definitely the whole Route 66. They, they truly love the idea and the history of Route 66 in this town. I love this little touch of having Betty White as the passenger. Looks nice, doesn't it? The postcard motel. Look at this over here. We got the Marshall's house. This blue one. Here's the Roadkill Cafe. It's a pretty good stop too. Scott and I have eaten there several times. Interesting thing about that is they have a bar in the back called the OK Saloon and it's all like taxidermied animals and snakes and stuff like that. So not just a clever name. And I'm pretty sure they weren't serving us Roadkill, but you just never know. But if you're looking for some cool things to like stop and take photos with, this is a perfect place because back in their parking they have an old jail. They have a Wells Fargo, a dentist, all this stuff. A little ghost town. Over here, you can see how bad the wind is. This is supposedly the largest Route 66 sign. Shield sign. I don't know. I thought we just saw a place saying that they had the largest sign. I don't know. All right, Scott, we're off to Kingman, but we have one tiny stop along the way. More Burma Shave. It says these signs cost money, so roost a while. 
but don't get funny. And someone stole the Burma Shave sign at the very end. Jerks. This has been great. We've seen like four Burma Shaves today. That is true Americana. I love to see these. Even though we're not going to do this today, I wanted to still show it. Grand Canyon Caverns. Here we've got Radiator Springs gas from the Cars movie. They have a bunch of dinosaurs out here too. Looks like it's for an old mini golf course that's falling apart. You can still kind of see the course in there. Yeah, we're not going to do the caverns tour, but maybe another day I'll do that. I'm just too wiped out. We're in the town of Valentine, and this is about all we've seen in all of Valentine. Shop local. Wonder what it was like going to Burt's Country Dancing. Here's the Hackberry General Store we found in Hackberry, Arizona. Scott, don't you love these places? You know, really, there are so many of them, but yeah, I never get tired of them. You know, Scott was just complaining, like, how many more old cars do we need to see? And then we find what's right behind us. Gigantacus Hedicus. I love it. Ha! Look at that big head. Look at that. That thing is awesome. I'm telling you, tomorrow Scott's going to be upset that he didn't take a photo with this thing. You watch. They actually have a phone booth up there with a phone. We got Herbie. Of course, Radiator Springs. <laughs> Contains baby rattlers. Oh! Better watch out for them rattlers. I did. I did. They almost got me. So we have Giganticus Hedicus, and then we also have his buddy over here. Which I don't know his name. This is the queen of Route 66. I'm not even kidding. She's completely made of like Route 66 signs. Look at her stomach. Even her crown has the 66. Surprise, surprise, surprise. I did not know that was going to be there. That was a fun stop. We have made it to Kingman. We've got the best view in Kingman. And that comes with a view of the El Trovatar. Let's go over there and look at that. Biggest mural or biggest map of Route 66. Totally looks like the kind of place we would have stayed. But man, when I read the reviews, there was like not one glowing review about this place. So uh, we opted not to, but I want to show you this stuff here anyway. You can see the Route 66 map there, the little uh, shield, and then in front of the office it says World's Longest 66 Map. Here they have this photo op. You can walk up the little sidewalk and take your photo there. So let's start the map. Even though we started in Chicago and we're going to end here, we'll go ahead and start the map here because it's just easier. So there it goes. California. To Arizona. Follow the road to New Mexico. Texas into Oklahoma and follow the map. And it takes us to Kansas. Kansas and a cow. There's Missouri. And here is Springfield. And where we started. But all over the place they have people like this, like Steve McQueen, Stooges, Elvis, Flintstones. Now if you're here at night, you get the, uh, the beauty of seeing, they have a tower, like a radio tower, like the RKO tower, but it's for this place in Route 66. There it is. 
And then just some cool theming over here. Made this all look like a gas station with the Santa Fe Railroad. And here's John Wayne up on the stagecoach, the Route 66 stagecoach. Hi, Porky Pig. Oh, looks like we've got olive oil. Bugs. And Yosemite Sam. Blast and varmints. And that's for the Kingman Airfield, 1942. Where were you in 42? Well, good day, my friends. We are going to call it a day. Thank you all for watching. I want to thank Mark Q and I'm a Cat for becoming my newest Patreons. Thank you for taking the, the ride with us through Route 66 once again today. And Scott, do you have anything you want to say? No, it's just having, having a great time, no matter what you think. <laughs> we are we are kind of in the home stretch. We will be entering California tomorrow, actually, I believe. So yeah, we will see you all heading west tomorrow. Have a great night and goodbye.